My name's Fiona and this is my adventure in Palkora. Today we are heading to the Dalmeni estate. It is steeped in history, it has gorgeous grounds, but more importantly, it was the filming location for Cask for Christmas. The straight to Netflix, so bad it's good rom-com. Filmsy's successful author Brooke Shields fall in love with a laird. He has a cold exterior, but a heart of gold and a very questionable Scottish accent. And I'm feeling a bit of festive joy and a wee bit of romance. So I brought my husband with me. I'm sure I he's... smell Oscars. <laughs> Part of the deal of being able to take your dog on Dalmeny Estate is you have to keep them on a lead. This is because it's a working farm. There are areas where there's wildlife, so they ask that you keep your dog on a lead. The lead rule does not apply to the beach areas. This is Hounds Point and you can see big boats quite often parked up at the marine terminal. However, it's also said to be haunted. Legend has it that Sir Richard Mowbray went off to fight in the Crusades, but he unfortunately met his end there. And the second it happened, his dog back here started to howl uncontrollably. You can still hear the howls of the dog through the trees when you're on the beach. Cora does the same when I go to the shops. She's just as devoted to me. And obviously the Firth of Forth was a huge area of defence during both wars and if you keep a look out up into the woodlands as you do this walk you'll be able to see World War I gun placement areas. Errols have owned a state since 1662 and it spans from West Lothian all the way down to the borders and the focal point of this route has to be Dalmeny House. It's a castle from the film! The house was built in the 19th century and has been home to the Errol ever since. It has gorgeous architecture, beautifully kept grounds and it also has a golf course. I'll be best-selling author Brooke Shields and you be the grumpy Laird. Yes, perfect. And everyone Great, I like it. That is us just at the end of the walk and the sun is beginning to set. This took about two hours I would say. Um, so give yourself plenty of time to do this. And I would rate this a four paws out of five. It would have been five but I quite like taking the dog off the lead and letting her run about. So we're just going to go and head and get a bite to eat and a well-deserved post-walk pint. <laughs> 